Welcome to this channel. In this tutorial, we would be simulating a band pass filter circuit. Before going into this tutorial, I request you to like, share, subscribe to my channel for more such videos on KiCad. Now double click on the single band pass filter circuit file and click on play symbol. Now place the cursor on the schematic window and type LM741 and place this particular LM741 operational amplifier in this particular schematic window. Now right click on properties, edit properties, define the reference as U1 and define the aspect as mirror around X axis. Click on edit spice model and we have to select the LM741 library for this particular circuit. So select alternate node sequence and define this as 3, 2, 7, 4, 6 and click OK. Now we have to place the capacitor and the resistor for this particular circuit design. So click on the schematic window and type P spice and select the resistor. Place this particular resistor on the schematic window right click click on properties edit property define the reference as r1 and define the value as 5.36 kilo ohm and click ok and define the orientation as plus 90 now we have to place other two resistor that is resistor r2 and the resistor R3. Now place this particular resistor on the schematic. Click on property, edit property, define the reference as R3 and define the value as 5.36 kilo ohm and click OK. Now right click on the resistor and select duplicate. Place this particular resistor on the schematic window as shown in this tutorial. Now Right click on this resistor, click on property, edit property, define the reference as R2 and click OK. Now we have to place the capacitor value. So click on place symbol and place the cursor on the schematic window, type P spice in the library and select the capacitor. Right click and select property, edit property define the reference as C1 and define the value of capacitor as 0 0.1 microfarad and click OK. Select the orientation as plus 90. Now we have to place the second capacitor value. So place the capacitor, click on properties, edit property, define the reference as C2 and define the value as 1000 picofarad and select the orientation as plus 90. Now in this circuit or in this tutorial, we have to define the voltage source. So place the cursor on the schematic and type P spice and select the voltage source. Now we have to place three different voltage source. One particular voltage source would be as an input for the circuit and the other two voltage source would be the supply voltage for LM741 op amp. Now click on place port and place the ground connection across 
the voltage source so place the ground connection across all the voltage source as shown in this particular tutorial and also we have to place the ground connection across the resistor R3 now we have to place the global label so click on place global label and define this label as VCC similarly place the global label VEE and also place the global label VN across the third voltage source now we must also place the global label VN across the resistor R1 and global label VCC across the terminal 7 of op-amp and across VEE near the terminal number 4. Now click on wire, connect the global label VCC, VEE and VN to terminal 1 of voltage source, connect V in to resistor R1, connect the resistor R1 to capacitor C1 and connect the capacitor C1 to the op-amp terminal 2 and terminal 3 to resistor R3 and terminal 7 to VCC, terminal 4 to VEE, resistor R2 to the capacitor and the terminal 2 of op-amp, capacitor C2 in between the resistor R1 and C1 and the resistor R2 is connected to the output of the op-amp and the capacitor C2 must be connected to the pin number 6 of op-amp. Next, click on place no connection and place this on the pin number 1 and pin number 5. Now right click on voltage source, click on property, edit property, define the reference as VCC, define the value as 0, click on edit spice model, define the DC as 12 volt. Now right click, click on properties, edit property, Define the reference as VEE and define the value as 0. Now click on edit spice model and define this as minus 12 volt and click OK. Right click on the third voltage source, click on property, edit property, define the reference as V in, define the value as 0. Click on edit spice model and select sinusoidal, select DC offset as 0, amplitude as 1, frequency as 1 kilohertz and AC magnitude as 1 volt and click OK. Now we have to place a graphical text. So click on place graphical text and define dot AC decade the number of points as 100 and the start and the stop frequency that is 150 hertz and 60 kilohertz and click OK. Now place this on the schematic window. Now click on tools, click on simulator and press run and stop simulation. Click on probe and place the probe across the output of op-amp. Now you can see the magnitude and the face of this bandpass filter using KiCad tool. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope this has helped your learning purpose. I request you to like, share and subscribe my channel below.